just tell him, Kate, God damn it, you dumb bitch. Why did you just finish up your poison and then just goddamn, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, God, it's so gay. <laughs> but then that's what happens if you get like 12 cucumbers in your in an orifice that you can't even talk wait are we live fuck um um God damn oh it. shit you turned it on fuck. oh no um <clears throat> so cucumbers and orifices aside i'm just gonna <laughs> pop my lining kugel open and mm, mm, it is a summer shandy kind of night ladies and gentlemen I guess all that said, while Kate's going to pee, um, what's the fucking, what's the fucking intro? Um, oh yeah, um, uh, what's the haps, beautiful people? Goody is serenading here, and it is time for Max and relaxing and sound and that chill out relaxing one last time for our grand finale of Majora's Mask. We're gonna go ahead and get this thing going. Um, yes, as you can probably figure out by now, at this point in time, it is indeed the, um, fucking Wii U variant. Which is why the stick has not been all too kind in, uh, rolling, rolling out, um, General Kenobi. God damn it, NP. Hello there! <laughs> Uh, I met we met Stingus at BronyCon and God damn it he is you and McGregor. There's no question about it. Absolutely. So we're gonna get right into this here. And as a reminder, as we get rolling, um, any super chat donations I receive tonight will be going towards SJIA, which is a childhood arthritis foundation curing organization. I can't, I don't want to give the name of it because it would potentially give the way give away the name of. Um, my my uh friend's child and i don't really want to you know play kind of dedoxing bullshit you know how it is mm. so uh i also don't want to come off and saying don't worry it's totally legit it is legit it's a very serious uh problema and um she's a very very sweet little girl and i like to make sure that she that maybe one day we can find a cure for it one can always hope yeah so, um, last time, we, uh, God, fucking Earthquake City on the final day. Last <laughs> time, we, uh, went back through, well, we, actually, we beat Stone Tower, got our final fairy Shigamabob, the Great Fairy Sword, which is a sea equip item, and then we went back, we reset time and went back through and fought all the bosses again. You know what, fuck this, I don't know I'm trying to get up there. <laughs> no, I will try and get up here. I'm committed now. I'm committed. <laughs> and um, now, you sure it's a sea equipable item because it looks like it's on your B. Oh no, that's the uh, gilded sword. That's what it, you get your um, Kokiri sword turned into from the. Uh, finally, there we go. The um, gold dust and the blacksmith. They take care of that. Like mm, I would say about midway through the game for you if you play your cards right. Uh, -huh. uh oh, this guy's gonna knock me off! <laughs> no, 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 no! Don't knock me off! Fuck, what are my controls? Uh, what was A map to. No? Yes, maybe. No, I don't want Possibly. It. There we go. <coughs> 50 rupee. Might as well have just waited towards night to do that. Um. Okay, so I think we got everything. Um, the whole one of the ideas of this run was to get all the masks, and we have done that. It was a long time coming, long train running, but I think we're about ready. Oh, there's the princess. How are we doing, sweetie? Okay. <laughs> All right. It's time to make Kate as uncomfortable as possible. If you give this guy five thousand rupees, by the way, deposited in the bank, then he gives you a piece oh, of heart. Are we streaming right now? Yeah, we're yes. live. Oh, okay. <laughs> I promised the I promised the bootyful people eight thirty, and I was like, we gotta get it rolling, or I'm gonna start losing. I'm gonna start losing My views. Bad. I'm gonna start losing views. I had to go to the bathroom. The bathroom. Everybody just gonna fucking leave and be like, God damn this fucking liar. He said we were starting at eight thirty. It's eight thirty one. I was playing Food Fantasy. I'm sorry. 
food fantasy, huh? Yeah, it's like a mobile game. It's like, like, think, you know how Italia humanizes countries? It's like, mm -hmm. the game humanizes food. Vodka yeah. is my empress and I need to get her. <laughs> yeah, I'll show you a picture in the chat of Goody. You might like, uh, you might definitely like vodka. Are you kidding me? I love vodka. All right, let me just go get it. <laughs> What is in your background, Kate? It's an air conditioner. Okay, I was wondering, because like when you've left, I just heard... I Sorry! Like... <laughs> I was like, okay? <laughs> yeah, oh my. Was, uh, my big, big scary machine in the background. <laughs> How have you been doing, Kate? I didn't get a chance to talk to you before the stream started. Uh, been good. Got back from Pennsylvania. Good, good. Uh, here, Goody. Here's vodka. <gasps> this is Boo? Ooh, she's very pretty. Whoa, yeah. <laughs> Hello, vodka. <laughs> Hello. Hello, vodka. That's, that's vodka. She's, does it? Does she burn nice. on your? Does she burn on the way down your throat, or? She's cold and indifferent, and probably will step on you. Mmm. Also, in order to befriend her, you have to befriend her eagle. That's an eagle. Uh, I would expect it to be a gray goose, to be honest, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> they had a, that was a, you know what, that's a missed opportunity. I'm calling it, that's a missed opportunity, Dodd. <laughs> also, Tiramisu looks like Monica. <gasps> the boo! Here, this is like a close-up. <laughs> that's Tiramisu. It looks like Monica. Oh my god, she does! <laughs> she does! Oh my stars and stripes! This is that point where you just realize that all anime girls look the same. Just tiramisu. Just tiramisu. Just tiramisu. Does that mean that Monica's Italian? Because that would be like extraordinarily hot if she was. You know, speaking of hot, <laughs> yes. here's spicy, uh, here's spicy gluten. It's a snack for Spice, Joanna. Spicy gluten, what? Spice, spicy, spicy gluten. That's I'll spicy take, gluten. I'll take three. She's, <laughs> she's a Chinese snack. She is a Chinese snack. Mm. Actually, there is one for spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Can we back up and set and ask what this was again? By the way, uh, it is food fantasy. It's a mobile game that uh was came out like a month or two ago. It's a uh, it's a restaurant sim slash like gotcha game, kind of like Japanese stuff. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey guys, by the it's way, we're not sponsored at all. It's like complex, but like pretty fun. I like it. All right, this th this live it. stream this live stream is now brought to you by <laughs> uh, <laughs> Hot Vodka Girls. <laughs> Touching my spaghetti. Yeah, I can see that actually. He's literally the wizard of spaghetti. There you go. It works. Oh my god. I like that. Him too. <laughs> Him <fucking> too. <laughs> I forgot that I forgot that one was still in the chat. <laughs> That's perfect. Oh god. So I'd like to uh, thank everybody for joining us tonight on this grand finale. And uh it's gonna be a good time. I think I've showed everything you can just about everything you can do in this game. I'm not going for all the pieces of heart, because uh fuck that. I think the one thing I didn't one thing I can think of that I did not show was the puppy races. But I think that's also because those get kind of frustrating. So, uh... If you want to know what the puppy races are all about, basically you can use the, uh... The Mask of Truth to figure out which pupper is going to uh, do the best in the race. And, uh... If you win, hey, you get a piece of heart. Cheat, cheat someone out of money. Well, but, well, the thing is, sometimes the puppers, uh... The best, the pupper who's the most confident is, uh, he's, uh, he's going to bullshit you. He may come in like sixth. I think Chug uh -huh. Convroy, when he did it, he ended up trying it like 40 times until he got it right. Mm. So. It really kind of burns through the money. <coughs> so, uh. I'm going to take some of my nighttime cold. There's one for sandwich. I remember. Uh, oh my goodness. Well, just keep sharing the food at us. Yeah, this is actually turning into 
she's turning the chat into some uh, hentai situation. So, uh, well, so you know, yogurt. that's because because the whole point is you sit there, you look at it, and say, "I'd eat that." Whoa! Yeah, they're, they're pretty good. I just posted red wine and yogurt. Ooh. Oh, yogurt's adorable. <laughs> but the two simultaneously? I don't know, bro. Um, that's Proto oh Wooten is apparently watching fucking Infinity War tonight. <laughs> yeah. So uh that's the thing that's going on. <coughs> I mean it's Friday, what the hell else are you gonna do you know at, on, at the job? Play. Let's play again, Goody. Name a food, and let's see if there's a food fantasy. Uh... Name a food? Uh, hmm. Go simple. Don't go like too fucking crazy. All right. <clears throat> oh, oh, you what caught you your... caught me in my bluff. You caught me. You caught me just before. <laughs> I was just about to say something like foie gras or something. <laughs> Actually, there is one for foie gras. <gasps> She's pretty. She oh my god, let me see her. Queen. Let me see her. She's a queen. Is she my queen? I was gonna say which one uh, is your this favorite is foie gras? drink again. She has a British accent. <gasps> I'm already in love. She's a young and noble woman. Oh my god, she is a queen. queen. Look at that. Look at that. She, she, they don't get it. They can't even see. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> your problem because you're showing us off this shit. You're also advertising stuff on my channel, which is fine. So guys, make sure you check out these. Shit, uh, sorry. These hot, <laughs> these hotty, these hot food people. I should actually like you know look at the stream. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> She's looking at Shonen Food Boys. <clears throat> That's a band God, name. That's a band shit. name. Shonen, Shonen Food, Food Boys. Boys. Here we go. My mom was gay. Okay. Uh, I already gave him the know you. It's okay. All right. Look Someone out. Uh, good. <laughs> look out. BTS. Shonen Food Boys is on the prowl. I do like BTS. What is uh? What fuck? You can do it. What's your what's your what's your what's your favorite drink again? Your favorite uh, al alcohol? Mine. Yes. Uh, Starts with a D, right? D Serona. Thank you. I kept thinking DiGiorno, and I'm like, that's not the fucking way. That's a goddamn pizza. A yes, pizza. I do that's love right? me a nice. I do love to drink me a nice big flask of DiGiorno, DiGiorno. pizza. <laughs> it's better than pop jar. <laughs> It's also it's also a lot less. My fucking head. is also a lot less racist. What? <laughs> oh, I'm social politics. I'm actually surprised politics. you even put you said fogwa. It's like, oh my god, I got her like yesterday. What about fried chicken? <laughs> uh. I swear to God, if she has a Confederate flag, I'm ending the stream. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't think so. Okay. It's, it's weird. It's like there's one for sandwich, but like there's like special kinds. <laughs> it's from out around the world too. Uh, the only chicken-based one that I can find there is hamburger. There is hamburger. Hamburger. There's sushi. I'd expect it. Boston lobster. Ooh. Boston lobster. You mean Boston lobster. Boston lobster. Can't tell lobster. if that's a mistranslation of baked lobster, but I uh, whatever. <laughs> so one more thing we're gonna do here on screen is um is something I like to show is how how close the moon really is from all around the world and just thinking that everyone is just watching it fall and you're just one small boy one small good boy who stands against it. <laughs> The swamp. I, I would hate to be in the swamp because look at this. Look at this. It's staring right down at you if you're in the swamp. That's, that's, some, that's some freaky shit. I'm just reading the chat and Top Josh said that they met me <coughs> in Goody at BronyCon 2018. It was nice to meet you too, dude. Yeah. I'm just like slowly catching up. Oh, um, so the only chicken based one is Beggar's Chicken. Okay, strange, but alright. So it just came out, so they have like 70. I feel, so it sells. Uh, I feel like you have answered this one, Beauty, before Top Josh was asking, have you heard of the progressive rock metal band Dream Theater? I actually just saw that, and I was just about to answer it, and yes, I have. Dream Theater is pretty fucking amazing. They, um, I, I think I found one of their tunes either through you or through something, but I really liked it, so... Yeah, they... Um, 
something really I love that I really love about them is that if I remember right, I think they all have their masters in music, and they um, and the and since they have and they they use like you know all their music knowledge and they make such complex songs that like shift time signature all the time. Mm -hmm. you, like you, you can hear it in songs like Panic Attack, and um, oh, what's uh, what's the one where he's like speed picking like a motherfucker? Um, Stream of Consciousness, which is one probably one of my favorite Dream Theater Dream Theater songs. Holy shit! It's just a twelve <coughs> minute. Uh, <laughs> I think I like the Zora Cape the best at the end of the world. It's just kind of like this purple haze around. Old J Jimi Hendrix looking thing. Mm hmm. Pretty sight as uh, the world goes to shit. I like the music during the last, like, hour or so. Mm hmm. It's fucking beautiful. It's like the most unnerving thing. That's. Uh, this game. I think, I think I've listened to a remake of it, like, many a time over. Yeah, this. This game, dude. My dudes. My dudettes. My LGBTQZs. <laughs> LGBTQD pies. Just everything about this game is fantastic. And I can't <laughs> see the moon from this angle. Oh, uh, goodness. What was the last thing that we needed to do? Did you get all the masks? Oh yeah, we have all the masks. I'm just bouncing around the world to just kind of showcase that, you know. Oh, the way they all look during the last night kind of yeah. thing. Gotcha. Everything's really just coming down to the wire. We're just taking because in the world before it comes to an end. Stakes a fucking dragon, boy. Or demon. Whichever one. Both work. She's still sharing pictures from Food Fantasy, that's all. Uh, no, <laughs> shut up! I'm showing Wooden alone. <laughs> yeah, okay. I was showing Wooden, what the fuck? Well, I, I'm looking too, to be honest. <laughs> Steak is, um... Oof. He's dragon. It's, I say dragon, not demon, because ah. dragons are cooler. And their voice too. Coffee's voice is like, like a radio voice, and it's... It's, uh... It's pretty good. Nice. Is there a Long Island lad or lady? No, but the coffee says, um, are you ready to receive the devil's gift? Because coffee was considered a devil's gift when it was accepted. Ooh. I mean, is it on their wall? Also, there's milk. Okay, almost. That is something I have to have every night because it calms my damn stomach down. Yeah, I'll just give you milk. Glass of more. Ooh, is there, a, is there a cottage cheese? I like milk. I very much like milk. You like this milk? Yes. There is no <laughs> cottage cheese, but there's jello. And there's pudding. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. There's pancakes. Uh-oh. What, what happened? Wait, did you say there's pancakes? Yes, yeah, there's pancake. Pan your cake. I don't know if you saw orange juice, but I like her design. It was pretty nice. Yeah. Complimented with the blue. I can see it. Here, there's pancakes. All right. It's almost time. Anyway, let's <laughs> fucking do it. Let's get this shit. Ooh, she got some thickness in them thighs. Also, Panda, yes, Food Fantasy is a game. This live stream <laughs> is brought to you by Food Fantasy. <laughs> some people in the chat are, like, looking up the food. This by is the not. Way, guys, this... We are totally not uh, sponsored by Food Fantasy. This is not how I expected. This is not how I expected the grand finale to go. <laughs> and here it goes. Anyway, okay. the carnival begins. The fireworks go off. And it is time. Normally, it would be time for the citizens of Clocktown and all of Termina to celebrate. But that would not be happening tonight. And as the doors of time open, the final hours begin. Oh, let's do this, boys. Let's get it. <laughs> let's uh, do it. I'm going to save the world a second time. Who's got to save the world a second time? Tonight. 
All right. Here we go. <sighs> All right. Sis. Time to kick Fail. a little imp's ass. And then the mask immediately after that. Swamp, mountain, ocean, canyon. Hurry, the four who are there. Bring them here. Don't speak out of line, stupid fairy. Mother... Hey, my brother, that's it. I won't let you beat the shit out of my brother the way you expect yourself to, motherfucker. Well, whatever. <laughs> Even if they were to come now, they wouldn't be able to handle me. <laughs> just look above you. If it's something that can be stopped, just try to stop it! And as usual, <laughs> and as you would expect, even hitting with our strongest weapon, strongest ranged weapon, it won't do jack shit. But I am going to go around and hit these jars real quick to get a good old magic refill. Might free. be useful. For free. I and go then, this in free. And then we said we would call them. Let's do just that. <laughs> and thus come the giants. <clears throat> so the thing about this um, summoning thing is that you can do it at any time after you know the song and I have to say that uh, when I was younger, I tried it with only three giants just to see if things would happen, and they did. But then I have to say, like, there's like this the scene that happens is the, there are three giants standing around you trying to stop everything. It's nearly dawn, and the world around you at the same is simultaneously like death red. And like, and then it, it kind of cuts back to um, to the top of the tower with you and uh, Tattle and Skull Kid and Tail all together again. And then the timer do goes down to I don't remember like thirty seconds or something, and you realize shit, this isn't working. And then yeah, once again, your only option is to you know play the song of time, which is obvious, but just thinking that they went into that detail was, uh, I don't know, that was kind of cool to me. I know I've sung a lot of praise for this game as it, as, um, as this live stream's progressed, but, uh... It is a spoopy game. It's very spoopy. Jesus. Hold up the boo! There's a, there's a lot of heart to it, too, though. Come on, guys, we can do it! We're strong enough to push the fucking moon back in the sky! <laughs> Dave, oh God, listen. Done that before I came. Dave, ah. Dave, shut up. This is no time for your shenanigans now. I'm sorry, Harry. I really should have taken that dump. Well, I guess these people are gonna thrust it back into the sky. It stopped. We did it. It stopped. Holy shit, sis, you did it. Good, we made it in time. The giant's call worked on the Skull Kid. Easiest final <laughs> boss ever. Hey, Skull Kid, do you realize what you've been doing to everyone? Motherfucker. Wait, sis, don't. Don't be so hard on the Skull Kid. Tail, why are you protecting him? Aren't you mad at him for hitting you so much? <clears throat> uh, excuse me, had a little Taco Bell over here. Jesus fucking Christ. He was lonely, Skull Kid. 
He's trying to destroy everything around him. It's not the same as a lonely child. We can't allow that. <laughs> the power of the mask made him do it. It was too much for the Skull Kid to handle. It's because he doesn't know his place. On top of having a weak will and no strength of heart, he's a fool. Certainly. He had far too many weaknesses to use my power. Yeah, that's right. Admit your stupidity. Wait. Hmm. What? A puppet that can no longer be used is mere garbage. This puppet's role has just ended. Jesus. Can't be than the moon. That time. Oh, it's time. Done yet. Song of time, song of time. I shall consume, consume everything. Fairies just argue amongst themselves while the giants are struggling to hold the moon from devouring existence, you know. NBD, bro. <laughs> it's the final countdown. Dig it, it, dig it, it, dig it, it, dig it, 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 it. I could have named this uh, this live stream anything else because that was a pretty obvious name. But what else are you get? What else are you going to name it? Right. That's true. Very true. So. Those giants really are just heads with legs and arms, aren't they? I just was randomly noticing. <laughs> I never thought about it. Yeah. <laughs> what? I don't know. I no, heard what? like, yeah. What, 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 wasn't me. What were we saying, Chaotic? Oh, I was just saying, are, are those giants just, like, giant heads with arms and legs? Eh, essentially. <laughs> so it seemed. So, oh, now you're, now you're in the fields. Yeah, so while we're going this towards to this a bit behind, but lonely not much tree, of the but this is the uh, interior of the moon. And uh, Chaotic, <clears throat> you had a fan at BronyCon who gave you a few gifts, and one of them was a gift of uh, Majora's Mask manga. And in the manga... It, mm -hmm. show, it told a little story about the forging of the mask in which some traveler, I can't remember the details, but there was a great beast that people would go to to try and get its hairs or something like that. And uh, every time that someone would arrive, <clears throat> the beast would eat the people. But this guy, this one traveler, he didn't try to get the beast or anything. The horns or whatever it was that they, people would come after. He instead played a, played music and made the beast dance for days, exhausting the beast. And hmm. then when the beast was too tired, that's when the traveler cut off the beast's horns and killed it and took all of its parts. And, to, and from the forging of all the beast's um, parts and hairs and horns and stuff... It created Majora's Mask. Mm. Which I thought was always an interesting piece of lore. So, Majora's Mask is just a small fragment of what once was. Like a great demon. So this is just a fragment of the demon. I can only imagine how powerful the demon itself fucking was. Jesus. Yeah. If someone else has... Uh, if someone Shit. else has has uh read this manga and is familiar enough with the lore then uh, and i got something mistaken do chime in and uh let me know chatty boys and ladies <laughs> and lb lgbt cuties 
Uh, <laughs> I need to stop doing that. I'm gonna trigger somebody. <laughs> so anyway, there's these creepy children running around this tree that all have the masks of the bosses we fought. And they're gonna start asking you for all the masks. Give me the mask, I'm poor. I'm gonna give him this <laughs> cafe mask. I yo give me a mask. Give me give me your mask. You can give them you any me, any masks that you want, but I like to keep Also the... food, please. What <laughs> <laughs> give me your mask. And food. I've been oh here sure, here. Uh have some uh have ha have some steak. And just hand him hand him the, the steak. Dragon boy. Yeah, just hand him the dragon boy and say, I can't hear steak. Here you go. <laughs> Good luck on the challenges in the moon. I forget how, how how difficult they are. Uh, they're not that bad. Uh, one of them in particular is, is going to be maybe a bit problematic on account of the controller I'm playing on. So makes sense. I'm assuming that's the uh, the Goron, Goron one. one. Yeah. Yeah. So you can give these guys the masks in any order you want, but the ones I like to hang on to till the end are. Uh, just the ones that I use the most, so like the bunny hood, the bomb mask. Uh, you want to keep on to the. If you don't have a complete mask set, then you may want to hang on to the mask of truth because if you. Nope, wrong mask, wrong mask, try again. <laughs> Put on the mask of truth and you talk to any of these gossip stones inside the moon dungeons. <laughs> That's just, just an example here. It seems the leader of the Gorman troop had the circus leader's mask. Yeah, all the uh, gossip stones in this in the moon dungeons are going to tell you uh, where you can get certain masks from. They may not give away like straight away hints. Uh, they won't tell you exactly how to get them, but mm -hmm. I'm about to die. Yep. <laughs> oh, finally. They won't. They won't tell you straight. They won't tell you straight away how to get the mask, but they will say who had them and where you can go to you know, get on the right track to getting them once, if you ever were to go back in time again. Hey, Goody. Yep. Makes sense. You should squeak. Good luck. <laughs> you said that <laughs> as you fell on my... S <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it worked perfectly. By, like the rotating, like, thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the sound of a deck as long as just... <laughs> Deflated as you fell. <laughs> oh, my life is magnificent shambles. <laughs> God damn it. Keep landing wrong. Oh. Well. I do wish your death would have a squeak sound effect. <laughs> Just have it as a sound effect. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah and every instead time. everybody gets. <laughs> <laughs> You fell down again. God damn it. <laughs> delay on this. <laughs> I try. I try. Hopefully next time we stream, we, we, we'll be able to, like, stream more consistently as in, like, we are, can watch you play, like, in time. And not you can use... make, you can do that through Discord. You just have to have a strong enough internet to do so. Yeah, I was trying to do that when we first started off this game, but, uh... Yeah, I was it was it was flickering when I was trying it. You guys remember that? Mm, yeah. Kind of, yes. The so. screen kept flickering and bickering and just being a dickering, <laughs> you know? A dick a dickering from Slytherin. <laughs> Your screen was just giving you a big old dickering. Alright, wait heart. for this spike thing to come. A piece of hot. Got me a piece of hot. <laughs> All right, so we get to this creepy child's playroom, and he's probably gonna ask for another mask, I think. So let's just pull one out. I want more masks. All right. Give me your masks. Give me your masks. Can I ask a question? Your friends, what kind of people are they? I wonder. Assholes. Do those apparently. people think of you as a friend? I mean, look at my live stream. I'm surrounded by assholes. Wow, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, fuck this. I'm putting on my bunny hood. 
Bunny who run. Bunny! Mm-hmm. <laughs> Kate, okay, please, why are you hitting me in the dick like that? <laughs> <laughs> why you gotta cool. kick a motherfucker in the dick right now? Wow, I, I can't believe she of, kicked you in the dick. I posted a bunch of redhead food stalls that wouldn't, and you know, he loves redheads. <laughs> he, that's like he—he he loves that aesthetic so much. So like, I could just throw him like a like an anime woman, with red hair, and just like, oh, also because he's colorblind. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. If if you know red is a red is a very vibrant color. Panda says, "Hello, I am an ass." You are an ass, Panda. Now get back to work. <laughs> Whoa. <ass> Panda. <laughs> XDXD colon three nuzzles you. <laughs> <laughs> My fucking god! Don't hit me with that shit. That like. Uh, this is not uh, gonna work out. <laughs> no. Nope. <Rawr>, nuzzle. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? Rar nuzzles you. <laughs> Rar. All right, yeah. So this is gonna take fucking forever and a day. It's so tricky. Cause you pretty much have to leave it up to fate. Yes. <laughs> I need to hear this. Hold on. <laughs> oh, the fucking. <laughs> I'm just gonna take the teleport. Oh, <laughs> You're welcome. I needed that. <laughs> I needed that. What the hell are you two fuckers doing? He, he posted a video of of you know from, from Dragon Ball Z Bridge where um. Uh, I think it was from one of the movies with yeah, Cooler. Yeah, uh, Cooler was uh, medical. Cooler and... kept picking, like, kept <laughs> kicking Vegeta in the dick, and he'll be like, Why? "Kick me Why in the dick!" Kicking me in the dick. So someone <laughs> asked Christopher Sabat, the voice actor for Vegeta in uh, Dragon Ball Z Kai, and <coughs> the other one, the original Dragon Ball Z. He he was it uh, at some point in the original Dragon Ball Z. He was, but um, most people remember, remember Kai. The yeah, Kai, yeah. He, Christopher Sabat is basically Vegeta's voice at this point, but most people remember the one from uh, Ocean Dub, usually, so. Yeah, so, he, someone asked Sabat to say, he's like, he keeps on kicking me in the dick. Why does he keep kicking me in the dick? Sabat <laughs> <laughs> does it so well. Um, my favorite one is just like when they're sitting there and they're going all super saying like hey, we're gonna we're gonna beat them up and then they're like captured by medical or afterwards and Goku's like wow I can't believe every single one of them kicked you in the dick. <laughs> uh, I need to get back to watching bridge stuff. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna be here in the score on one a while, guys. Also, this Alex, really stop hard. trying I, I to get me back that. in the corner. Fuck off. <laughs> I honestly don't know what the whole corner is. I don't want to go. I don't. I don't know either. But no, fuck you. I don't want to go in the corner. <laughs> I like how you don't even know why. It's like I don't fucking know, know anymore. It's like an ongoing thing every stream. It's because Kate knows her punishment. Yeah, right, scumbag, sure. <laughs> you act dumb now. Put behind closed doors. <laughs> Surprise. Surprise on your knees. Ninja Surprise. cheese, get your hands on your knees. <laughs> it's preaching time. <laughs> Ninja cheese. Dude, chaotic. In the future, can you play a... Can you play a cleric who kicks down the door and says it's preaching time <laughs> actually I like that idea I think it's, it's preaching time boys thank you for sending me that uh, all my voice by Johnny Bravo That's not, oh my I didn't, God. this is what I, I needed I don't like Johnny Bravo I didn't like it when I was younger but this is okay Blasphemy. It just fits. I liked so every well other Cartoon Network show just not Johnny Bravo when I was younger I just thought he was like annoying <laughs> Well, to be honest, he well, you're just like every other woman he tried to hit on. <laughs> they all thought he was annoying. 
<laughs> Even as a kid, I'm like, this is boring. He's boring. He says the same shit over and over again. I'd rather watch Powerpuff Girls. That way I can watch people die and get beat up. <laughs> and bleed. Get a netty, I just get my good old shenanigans. <laughs> Fuck it, Ed and Nettie could get really, really fucking like, what's the word I'm looking like? Real? Uh, well, well, yes, that, but it I could mean, also be like, the, the last they, they get the absolute brother. shit kicked out of them, sometimes. I just remember one episode where literally, they almost fucking, like, they should have fucking died with all the stupid shit they were doing. Like, oh my fucking god, really? Okay. But, either way. Against my better judgment, I think I'm gonna go for the piece of heart. No. Nice. Uh oh. Good nice. luck. <laughs> there's right. a there, there's a goody squee every time he dies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to. You, I don't think I can. Well, I don't think I can get it now. Shit. Oh well. I, I feel. I feel like everyone that imagined either. a point where he died in any specific way with that sound effect. But like I just imagined him getting like exploded you know what you know what we're gonna sit there and after we're done with um after we're done after you're done streaming and all that we're gonna take every time he died in the Majora's <laughs> mask and put it in a compilation and just put a squeak over it every Do single it, time like, all, like, the, like the entire the entire like playthrough <laughs> the entire playthrough every time he died just, i don't think goody died that much though but like the squeak that's true I mean, you can, okay well the way i see like if, if you count times where you know the screen fades out or you fall down a bottomless pit, then yeah, that's a death. I know the one death I did have was against G my first fight against Georg. That's because Georg. Like, you did burn. A, you did burn as a Deku a couple times too. Yeah. I mean, so he, those. He's, no, he's nowhere near Aaron's a death in Super Mario 64. We we'll, we can never achieve that greatness of a hundred. I don't plus know, man. Deaths. I don't know, dude. <laughs> I I. Uh, Aaron's entertaining, but my God. To be fair. Super Mario 64 is very frustrating nowadays. I do not blame him because it has not aged well. I've... Controls are not the best now. If you know what you're doing, it's really not that bad. Well, oh, well okay, K.I. You know, you're just a professional Super Mario 64 yeah. player, right? Dude, didn't... I just know how to play games! Dude, Chaotic, yeah. dude, yeah. Chaotic is, is Mario 64 MLG. Are you kidding me? Even if you know how to play games... Mario 6, Super Mario 64 is still fucking frustrating to play. Are you kidding me? I always had fun in whenever I played it. It was never no, frustrating. Be mad. Don't be happy. Stop being happy. <laughs> you fucking furry. Wow. That just came out of nowhere. Okay. <laughs> that's a well, hate. Then. That's a that's hate speech, Kate. <laughs> yeah, it's against a, it's a protected category. How dare you? I mean. I expect about, I ex how okay. About, how about I just ooh, ooh and then make you feel? Better. Kate, I Kate, I ex I expect this in Trump's America. I don't expect it from you though. Come on. Stop bringing politics in. Stop. All right. So this is base. So the Zora one is basically pick the right path when you're going high speed through a water slide. Die. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Uncalled for. Dan is a furry. I'm not, I'm not surprised. Have you seen the videos that sit there and say that he may possibly be? So I actually saw one. I thought, oh, why he not try so check it out? He's so chilled and high all the time. I don't really fucking like. I'm not, I'm not even, it wouldn't be surprised. No, yeah. I like Dan. Dan's cool. Dan's cool. <laughs> He's got a, a chilled chaos around him. Yeah. <laughs> a chilled ca dude. There's a video of him like. I have to show you the video later. Like, the caption was, This man exudes so much chill chaos. <laughs> um, actually, I haven't been paying attention. Have they been, what, what have they been playing recently? I haven't been paying attention. Skyward because... Sword, finally! Oh, is that the case? Oh, yeah, that's the one that Aaron absolutely fucking despises. Okay. Um, I don't know if his opinion changed, I think, but... Skyward I think he said, I, I think Skyward I remember Sword him saying some... he doesn't like it. It's understandable for him to not like it. Skyward Sword was... It's okay. Hmm. Uh, if you say so. Too I have no idea. Too heavy. I played it. <laughs> yeah, I I enjoyed I enjoyed it. It had the running mechanic that they ended up bringing back in uh, Breath of the Wild, so... God, five. It had the stamina system that they brought back. Oh, Mountain has dropped $2 saying, I wanted to see Goodyear's 
breathe fire at BronyCon. Well, thank you for the $2 holla. And uh, I don't know how the hell I would do that. Just, just, just... It involves follow alcohol. Follow your dreams. Become a dragon. Borrow Ilya Leonov's dragon powers. And oh my fire. god. That would be a good idea, actually. I'm but... If I ever meet Ilya Leonov... We're trying to get him to come to BronyCon next year. Ooh, the piece of heart. I would love yeah, to meet Especially because it's the last Con. one. Like, it would be so great to see if we could just get as many people as possible. Yeah. I mean, like, I'm going I, to make it work even if it does I, kill me. So. I heard he'll be scared to meet me. I don't know. I don't know why he'd be scared to meet you. Yeah, no one should be scared to meet you. Jesus. Or, guy or, <laughs> or something like that. I don't know. He's just too cute for you. Too cute You're for too me. fucking I, kawaii I, desu. I don't, I don't know if one of you showed me, but like I think like Ilya said like, oh, this kid is cute as she like something about me being cute or him being shy. I don't know. Kawaii be very, desu. Be very funny. <laughs> <laughs> is Kate as small as I've heard? <laughs> <laughs> is she actually a bug? Oh, don't worry. I dream of doing it every day. Thanks, Dad. What? Anyway. <laughs> uh, do you actually oh, not sorry, remember which path to take, or are you? Uh, I'm just, are I'm you... just, I'm kind of just, like, just like spitballing. Me of Uncle Buck. Gotcha. Just like you remind me of Uncle Buck from the movie Uncle Buck. Whichever one I took, I got, I got, I got the piece of heart from one of them. Yeah, that's true. Oh, God. Hey, Kate. Yep. You ever You ever been in a cockpit before? Of an airplane? You ever seen a grown man naked? <laughs> yes. <laughs> this comes from a movie him. somewhere. It's an airplane. <laughs> like the movie Airplane, I mean. Okay. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I've never seen it. I just, so, I've Sonny, seen it. Ever, you ever been in a cockpit? No, sir, no, I've no, never no. been on a plane. Really? God Same. damn it, it's the piece of heart one again. Son of a bitch. Um, do I need to utilize my memory? massive brain power, my massive memory to figure this out? Uh, let me try a couple more to see if I can hyper-intelligence my way through here. You know who gotcha. I also want to meet again? I want to meet Thornquill. Miss Thornquill. Thorny's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> He's just as adorable. He's fun to pick I on. Just, I, yeah, I was going to say, I like hurting him. I just like... <laughs> him. Wow. Okay, then. I might just want to give him a warning when we go no, to the yeah. like, Avoid Kate, because she's just going to beat the shit out of you. Kate loves... <laughs> Kate loves hurting Thornquill. <laughs> My like, just, 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 I'm just, I'm 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 just like, like, hurting I just like hurting. God damn it, Kate! I just like hurting Thornquill. Oh my god! <laughs> I just... Take to Twitter. <laughs> Take to Twitter, my lovelies. Fly. This is the piece of heart one again, Thorn isn't it? <laughs> Son of a bitch! It's the piece of heart one. But, um, okay, so. Pleasant to talk to. Oh wait, everyone, shut the fuck up because Evan Stalker just dropped ten dollars, <laughs> saying it's been more than four hours since the last episode of Silent Ponyville Four. Where is the next episode? The previous was sarcasm. Come on, guys. Who do you think I am, Ashley H? Come on, you can't treat wow. me the same. Excuse you. I am here. I'm going to defend the Dorito Queen in her name. I'm do defending her that. too. I'm defending her too, Kate. No, I have to attack you. Shut up. I'm defending um, her too, because people do the same so... thing with Rem. They're like, oh, oh granted, I know this guy's joking. I know Evan's joking, but it's like... <laughs> but, like, I know that she has to deal with that shit too, where people are actually like, where's the next episode of Remembrance? It's been it's it's been a God, week. it's been 20 minutes. When's the next episode of Remembrance? <laughs> but otherwise, thank you so much, Evan. Dropping for ten dollars. Yes, thank you. Next go around, try left, left, right, right. Next episode will be because I know you're very excited. It was probably good. I have not seen it, but I'm sure it was pretty good. Uh, it will probably drop whenever it could drop. Like it's hot. I don't, I don't know fucking Goody's mind and what he has on his plate. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? What? What are you talking about? You mentioned me and what I have on my plate. 
Is that a genuine question? Yeah, I, I don't know what you're talking oh. about. <laughs> I, I said, like, I don't know what's on your plate, as in, like, content-wise. I don't know oh, what you have Oh, planned. oh, 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 oh. Like, you know, like, someone dropped, like, you know, Silent Ponyville as, like, a spaghetti on your plate, but there's also probably a bunch of projects you have on your plate as different millennials, <clears throat> miscellaneous food items. Different millennials? Not millennial, shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do a little. I'm gonna do a dance for this one. Worship oh, Yorg. Game. Oh, hold on. Ready? Do, 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 do. That, that fucking one? You gotta do that kind of dance? The fuck? <laughs> Is that the. You mean the, the, the marching the, one? The, the, the fucking Fortnite dance bullshit meme that's been going around. Oh, I don't watch bad animes. That's. Stop. <laughs> 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 that hurt my brain on three fronts. <laughs> oh my god. No shit, I didn't want to go back. Bastard. Did we put oh. a squeak to death for Goody fucking up? <laughs> Thank you. Hey. I really hope it got synced up. <laughs> oh well, I know what to do now. But uh, I guess content-wise, uh, I'm gonna try and work on SP th on Chapter Three when I get the opportunity. But uh, I gotta start gearing up for Halloween, and I got some good shit lined up for Halloween this year. Interesting oh. stuff as well. <laughs> October. Yeah. No one important in this call was born in the month of that. Yeah, I agree. Correct. Yeah, no one. No, I agree. You just gotta go. Gotta go, gotta go skipping my birthday month. That makes me so sad, right. dude. made me so sad. What? You went and skipped my birthday month. You were like, you oh, there, my tweet. Like, oh, guys, it's already, yeah. It's almost, yeah. it's almost September, guys. You're ready to... And then I'm just in Halloween <laughs> mode, dancing Halloween down the fucking... <laughs> and I'm like, guys, come on. There is something important, at least for me. <laughs> well, Chaotic, it's hard to age. You realize that you age when you already seem so young. Yeah. Get, Francis and happy. <laughs> Get Francis underwooded. Get Francis underwooded. Get wood. Get wood. One nation under wood. Even though my birthday One starts the end, end of the month, it's still the entire month is just me. <clears throat> I don't have an ego. <laughs> <laughs> the I right blame thing. my dad. What is it? <laughs> Yeah, I blame my dad for pregnant my mom. No, no, like, let me <laughs> clarify. My dad's birthday is in February, and so he would call the month of February because his first name is Evan. February? Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, oh, well, October is just, you know, Kate-tober. Just a month of me. Yo, Kate-toberfest? No, I called it Thorn-toberfest. <laughs> Kate-toberfest? I, call, I remember calling, I remember dubbing Thorn-toberfest. I think I was at the last year, the year before, I was like, yo, Thorntoberfest. Thorny gives us, like, a different brew to try every day. Hey. I mean, that reminds me, I just, I just really want to hurt Thornquill again. Every time you mention him, it's just, I get the, all I could hear about is a scream. Damn. <laughs> Are you saying that you like it when Thornquill screams? I mean, doesn't anyone? Looks at Goody. Crickets chirp. <laughs> Don't you fucking go silent on me, especially on this topic. Oh, I didn't no, want to. I didn't well. want to give him the bunny hood this early. Son of a bitch! I'm blank, Kate. You, you can back out wow. of it, can't you? Nah. Once he has it, he has it. But it's okay. You're not. Why do you blame me? Cause you's a bitch. Cause Cause you shut a up, bitch. you cocksucker. Why does it always have to end this way, Kate? Because you's a bitch. Cause you's a bitch. You's a bitch. A bitch <laughs> with an emoji B. A bitch. Alright, so, um, I guess livestream wise, uh. We're all gonna die. So I got, uh, the Mega Man X Legacy Collection for Switch. And I've been Mega Man to... X. That's right, that's right. That one's the one with, uh, well, Mega Man X. Never mind. Yeah, that's, 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 the, one that's the one. <laughs> that's the one. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was trying to think. I know there's multiple types of Mega Man, so I had to think which one it was. So the, the Legacy Collection came out, and I would like to uh, play a couple of those. And there's also like this uh, boss mode where you fight two bosses at once. It's pretty cool. I kind of want to oh, give that a go. I have a little bit already on my own, but I'd like to kind of 
make a struggle is real stream montage of just <coughs> my general struggle for you all to enjoy. <laughs> That'll be coming I out. I do like watching you suffer. Yeah. I like I'll watching you suffer. I was going to say, apparently you just like watching everybody fucking Thor suffer. Thorgold has a special place in my heart. I'm sorry. Oh, I love this one. It seems the one cursed by the strange sparkling gold spiders had the mask of truth. You have to wear the mask of truth to figure out who was holding the mask of truth. I love it. That, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> They had to fit that it in legitimately somewhere. makes no sense. Someone said, does this mean that Thorncrow is a screamer? Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, but base boosted. <laughs> god damn it. Oh yeah, we had to fight the girl master again. I hope you tell Thorncrow about this later, Kyoki. <laughs> I, uh, I probably will. Also, and, the lady hey, shroud uh, said bug persona. Isn't that what you basically are making with the moth? I do have a moth persona. ANP, if yeah. you're still in the chat, go ahead and give Thorny a warning for us, if you please. I don't think Nay, I don't think <laughs> Nay really <wish> one. <laughs> well, I did leak the live stream in the chat. Maybe Thorny knows in advance how much of a bitch you is. And yet, people love me. Yep, it's true. That's why I have you in my streams, because you're so controversial. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, so I, I challenge the status quo with my opinions and, and whatnot. Shut the fuck up. I just up. say stupid Shit. Shut the fuck up, cunt. <laughs> shit, shit, shit. Yeah, now I feel like it. The hell you say? <laughs> That's why people were chanting my name at the at the ponies with voices. Ugh, fucking ponies with voices. <laughs> Movies with ponies, whatever. <laughs> yeah, ponies with voices. No, yeah, that's sure. <laughs> uh, the movie pony uh, panel was on the BronyCon. Hey, a nice segue. Kate. Kate. <laughs> God, boys. <laughs> Oh, hey, got a bug sword. Yeah, I remember one moment from that panel was I was getting a drink. Yay me. Mm. I was online. It was like five minutes before the panel started. And then Max started chanting my name saying, K! K! <laughs> Something like that. And it got everyone in the audience started doing it. And I was like pleading with the bartender, please make me just <laughs> <laughs> And they're like... Gotcha. <laughs> Do her best. She has, she has places to go. <laughs> I get I get my cocktail and go up there. Nice fight, nah, I Occasionally throughout the, the entire panel, people kept chanting my name and kept oh, uh, uh, unpolitely telling them, "Shut the fuck up." <laughs> oh, oh god. Got him. Someone someone actually bought me a drink, but it was not alcoholic. It was Coke. This is uh, fine though, because I actually didn't expect anyone to buy me a drink. I got you a drink. So literally anything. <laughs> I know. I think you may have got at the panel. I don't know if it was at the panel, but I know I got I you a was, drink. Yeah, you got me. Yeah, no, you got me a drink. I think after. And it was a uh, was it a Long Island iced tea or was it a uh, rum and coke? <laughs> I don't know. I remember. I think. Uh, I think Chaotic got a little toasty at that panel, though. Uh, yeah, I remember you guys were in the back, just like, what? I'm like, what are those guys doing, sitting at the table? Because <laughs> we're classy motherfuckers, and in, in, yeah. we're gonna sit at the table in the back, sipping on fucking. I actually almost <sighs> missed you two. I'm like, wait, I'm looking for the tall man. Wait, there he is, <laughs> tall man in the back. Yep. Sup, baby. <laughs> I'm gonna miss my bunny hood. Someone in the chat does not know who me or in chaotic are. What? Hello, I am Kate Bug. Yep. I am a voice actor in the fandom. I have voiced several narrators' content in the fandom. Hi, I'm chaotic. I do narration. I have voiced other stuff outside of the fandom, but I have <laughs> most of been in the MLP one. My name is Goody, motherfucker, the sensitive one. Break your motherfucking <laughs> base with the butt of my gun. <laughs> he knows who you are. <laughs> this is me Rip off your time. arms and break your legs with him. Oh. God damn it. Oh. Oh, more bomb shoes. Shit, Ferris is playing Stardew Valley. I should do that sometimes. 
Hey, uh, hey, Kate. Occasionally. What's up? You want to be in one of my Halloween things? You're so bold asking me on stream. Yes. <laughs> Baka. Well, what kind of Halloween stuff is it? Uh, Tell me in PM. It's, 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 a, <laughs> it's a spike roll. You want it? Oh, am I going to die? Uh, will unknown. I get, you know, will I be in pain as, as typically is uh, what happens to spike most of the time? You just, you know, is in pain. Uh, status unknown. Hmm. Status un. <laughs> I'll, I'll show you the fic out of the stream. Come on. Okay, one, two. That was such a sudden request too. It's like you know, been waiting for this. Been waiting to tell K Bug, ask K Bug, to voice in my Halloween special. Let's... I will do it on stream to make the moment very special. <laughs> it's because you're special, baby. Oh, thank you. Shut up. Baka. <laughs> Why? Woo. <clears throat> you did it. Okay, now we have to give this guy the rest of our masks, and our collection dwindles. But this means you get the first theater mask. And that more. means you're good to go. More. Just want more masks. <laughs> want another mask. You give him another mask. More. more. Hey, give me more. Hurt me more, sir. More. <laughs> What kind of face is it? I wonder. The face under the mask. Is that your true face? This is a good question. Maybe the mask isn't such a physical idea. Maybe the mask is just how we present ourselves on the outside. Hey, man, you hot? <laughs> oh, hell yeah, I'm hot as fuck. Oh, shit, man. <laughs> And that just leaves one more child all alone. Uh, is some... Something Wong, we too low, holy oh, no. fook, bang ding out. Someone in the chat's like, ow, my ears, and I don't know, like, probably it was the it, game or us. It's probably me, because sure. I got, like, all up, uh, all up in my mic. Everyone's they have gone... sensitive ears. Everyone's ears. gone away, haven't they? Will you play with me? Alright, so real quick. I wasn't planning to do this, but I'm going to make a quick restore point here. Because there's a couple mm. things I want to... There's something I want to do. You don't have any masks left, do you? Well, let's do something else. Let's play good guys against bad guys. Yes. Let's play that. You got the fierce deity's mask. Could this mask's dark powers be as bad as Majora? Who doggy? Are you ready? You're the bad guy. And when you're bad, you just run. That's fine, right? Well, shall we play? <laughs> All right. And here we are, guys. The grand finale. <sighs> it's time to fight the Majora. I feel like I wonder if the name means something or if it's just kind of a general it's just a kind of a name yeah i wonder that too majora's <clears throat> mask here we go guys the final battle here we go i don't have enough alcohol for this <laughs> remember your battles when something resistant would deflect your weapons what was its backside usually like usually squishy so there's a couple ways to approach this part. One is uh, pretty standard. The under there is a lot more dangerous. 
So Majora's is going to start off just kind of sweeping around like this, doing his little spin move. So typically, what you want to try and do is, while he's flying around as he is, knock an arrow and uh, knock him out the box. You'll also hey. notice that he is a lot bigger than a normal mask somebody might wear now. This is because he's letting the full extent of his demonic powers flow. Oh wow, it's Wombo in the chat. He, she, me, hey, Wombo. A couple of hits, and all the uh, and all the the uh, boss Titan masks are gonna come to life. Which is bad, because they all shoot uh, energy beams. And so does Majora! Shit! Well. So, rip. what I was getting at before this whole fiasco started, uh, Majora, after two hits, is going to start firing off uh, a heat laser, which, if you're a... Z okay, how do I put this? So... <laughs> an, 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 an easy way to hit Majora is to use your Zora fins, but the thing is, if you get hit by the heat laser, you die instantly and have to start the fight over. <laughs> yeah, because you cooked the fish. Yep. Zoras are weak to fire. Because you're cooking the fish. I like to I like to personally use his heat beam to uh, burn off the other masks as the last as goat, this motherfucker. Alexa, what? shut up! <laughs> what did that even spawn? What did that even do? Why do you like this? <laughs> Don't play Despacito. Oh, someone in the chat knows Wabu's countdowns. So proud of the baby boy. <laughs> so you take the mirror shield. You reflect the infernal beam back at him. The infernal beam. A hellfire beam. Hellfire ray. He hellfire. does not. He, he does not learn, so let's just keep cooking him. Dark fire. Man, he just keeps taking a beating, too. I've found uh, some theories as to why Majora's name is named the way he is. Because it's a cool name, doi. Well, I believe yes, it. this is true. But uh, the two ones I found was either it could have something to do with the Japanese word for witch, which is majo. So majo, Ooh. majora. It was so, it was um, used wait, in um, hex... A witch mask. Go it ahead, was sorry. used in uh, hexing rituals, so it says the lore. Yeah, so, so it seems start to morph. Like a, uh, well, almost like a witch's mask. And apparently, also there is a Majora, culture. Majora's incarnation phase two begins, uh -oh. and he's fast as a motherfucker. I think that the third incarnation's music is my favorite of all the fights. Oh, absolutely. I mean, um, what third incarnation? What? When you fought things that ran around, didn't you battle them using your own body? <laughs> it's encouraging you to try using the Goron mask to chase him down, but man is that awkward to do in this field. So I just hit him <laughs> with an arrow, knock him over, and uh, fairy sword the shit about. out of him, yeah. Go fairy sword. I love how he dances like a Russian. Oh, he does all <laughs> kinds of dances in this form, it's hilarious. <laughs> There's another attack because um, I want to show off if we can just if we can just do it. The other idea is that there is a Brazilian society that was named Mara Jorara or something like that, a culture that created masks which looks strikingly similar to Majora's mask. So, so one that was be an ancient Brazilian culture, and then another one that means witch masks. So, I mean, there's a couple of little things there. So it's uh. Yeah. He does the robot. Ooh, got him in the eye that time. Come on, show off your other attack. The really obnoxious one. Yep, there it is. He just spams you with the... Oh, there's the Balleria Twirl. Or the <laughs> Flier, I think it's called. Yeah, alright. Then he freaks out. He buffs up. 
shows his true form. And thus, we have our final showdown with Majora's Wrath. Let's get it, boys. It's time for the whips. So, the thing about his whips is that they don't always... Your shield can't always block it, because he's going to wrap you up in them. And it's usually in this part of the fight that I like to break out the light arrows. Because this is final incarnation. You saved your magic for this point. Why the fuck not? And of course, if you get hit once, he's going to start knocking you down back and forth. So, I'm assuming you just chose to fight like this and not use the first duty mask? Oh, don't worry. We'll get there. Oh, okay. <laughs> don't spoil the... Okay, my bad. <laughs> I just want to make sure I can show off all of his attacks and his freaky behavior. Incorporates his dances into his spinning whip attack, which is ridiculous. No, he, <laughs> he's not... So, so the thing about Majora is that you see... I, I, you you kind of imagine Termina as like an alternate universe to Hyrule, right? Uh -huh. Yep, there's, his, there's another one of his whipping spam moves. Ganon wants to rule Hyrule. Majora wants to destroy it. He's the chaotic evil to Ganon's lawful evil. And to that uh -huh. end, he doesn't need to have some kind of massively dark, shadowy powers surrounding him in every way, shape, and form. He's just a crazed demon with demonic whips forged from his own flesh. I think that's pretty twisted enough. And I'm okay with that. Mm -hmm. Sometimes some people just want to watch the world burn. Mm -hmm. So the tricky part is trying to get across to him after you stun him with a light arrow. Because he's always mm -hmm. further across. Yup, there's the throw. You cannot block that. Mm -hmm. I. I don't mind this guy giving it an ass kicking either, because, you know, he's very well deserving of giving that ass kicking. I did not know that his exploding tops had eyes on them. That's really freaky. <laughs> I learned something today. However! Reloading a, st a restore point. Let's do this fight another way. Ooh. That's a pretty fun fight in itself. But However, if you, you don don't the don't easy mode. if you feel like you want to don the fierce deity mask, get ready for the easiest fucking fight in the goddamn game. <laughs> well, that's not entirely true. So, the Fierce Deity Mask can only be worn in boss rooms. So, if you go to refight the bosses after after Endgame, you curb stomp them, and that brings so you many and that brings so many theories about the Fierce Deity. Is he like Termina's? Um, is he is was he originally like Termina's own hero of time, possibly? Maybe like he's the alt version of Link, who was you know not so much a noble hero, but more of a more of a noble demon. See, look at that one hit, and the masks are already coming to life. <laughs> and you shoot lasers and shit from your sword, yep. right? Your sword shoots lasers. Gorg's down. <laughs> All these things die in one sword beam. Also, also Majora totally just ran me over and I took no damage. I don't know if that was supposed to happen or not, but the other masks are down. So you can stun them with a sword beam, jump slash them. That's the end of phase one already. It just is not fair. <laughs> Which really makes yeah. me think, you know, maybe he was, maybe this Fierce Deity character was, you know, whatever this world would consider the alternative to courage. And uh, he, he was just, uh, 
he was a hero, sure, but maybe he just wasn't a nice guy. I'm trying to think, because if it was... Well, they say he's a fierce deity, so that almost makes me think it was like... Not ne maybe not necessarily anger, but like very easily brought to anger, possibly? I'm trying to think what the opposite of courage is without being an opposite, because the, ob op the opposite of courage is cowardice, but... Um, like a more... A, d a different version of courage you could almost say is arrogance. Because it is yeah. also... It's confidence, but it's overconfidence. And courage Pride, generally... Almost. Yeah, so pride is kind of courage, not not completely, but kind of. So I don't know. So it's it like maybe, so it's like it. maybe the maybe the people of Termina, when they call when they wish for a hero to come save them from this horrible <laughs> entity Majora, maybe in their own way they were just like when they, they saw the way the two of them would fight across the land, they would just be like, ooh, 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 maybe we made a mistake. <laughs> I think we made a terrible mistake, everybody. So as you can see, uh, as you can probably notice, that drinking this, um, using the Fierce Deities mask drains magic power. Yep. So if you want to break the game even more, drink some Chateau Romany. <laughs> and you get infinite magic power until the end of, until you reset time. This game had a lot of ways of breaking it, and this is just another one of them. There's a couple people giving examples in the chat of things that could also be uh, ambition, recklessness. I like ambition. Recklessness is also good, yeah, but I can... I'm just trying to think of, like, courage to an extreme. What does that do? Like, what does that... What would that be? Because usually the idea is like to an like evil to an extreme tends to be you know chaotic and mm -hmm. like, like you said Majora is. So what is courage to an extreme? Like, it's, it's, I've never thought about that before. Like an anti-hero. Like um, I don't know if you ever saw. Did you ever um, watch twenty twenty four? Yeah, I know what that is. Yeah, with Jack Bauer. Yeah. So Jack Bauer, he in order to defeat enemies, like the enemies of you know, American and all that, and the terrorists and people who would do harm. He would, um... That's the end. Ow, uh, he ow, ow. would play by their game. He would not be like... They would always be like, oh, well, I want immunity. If you want me mm -hmm. to tell you what, what uh, who so-and-so is planning. He would be like, no, fuck this. <laughs> if you want, in order to do that, I'm going to go after someone you love. And I'm going to threaten their life. And people would be like, Jesus, that's really fucking extreme. But it got the job done. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of what I think of when I think of like an anti-hero. Anti and maybe the fierce deity was just some kind of reckless, ambitious anti-hero. That could make sense because he still was trying to do the right thing, but he was willing to do anything to do it. So that's why they called him the Fierce Deity, because he was a good... He, he tried to do the right thing, but he was also willing to do anything to make that happen. Mm -hmm. So that's why they called him Fierce, because it's like, yeah, you know, don't, don't do not get in his way when he's actually trying to do something, Ooh. because you will probably just be bulldozed. Logic is here had a good comparison. Courage to an, ex an extreme would be Thanos. Someone who will do anything without pause, even universe-wide genocide. Even if he's afraid to do it, he'll still do it because he thinks it's the right thing to do. Oh, you shit, we just beat the game. Ah. Yeah, we did it, guys. We did it. We, we saved did. the world. We got rainbows and giants. Yeah. I kind of wanted to pres <laughs> preserve the ending and be able to talk and chat over it oh, while we... Uh, it, it just it didn't feel right to go back after after credits and fight Majora again, so I just wanted to mm -hmm. double down. <laughs> Makes sense. We got rainbows, guys. <laughs> oh my god, rainbows! You guys. And then the skull kid. You hadn't forgotten about me. You still thought of me as a friend.
this part to me has a lot of different definitions. It's like rather a lot of meetings where like he realized he did all this because he thought that his friends left him, but they had to, you know, protect their lands. And uh because they're the guardians of the world. But uh I like to think of them just being like, yeah, we hadn't forgotten. Now we have to go back and do our duties now. Be well. And then they leave. It's like... I can't really tell if they're like being, you know, benevolent or just... <clears throat> yep. <sighs> Hope you learned your lesson. <laughs> I have to say, doing this live with, uh, with, uh, friendos in the Chizity chat has been a lot more enjoyable than putting together a Let's Play. It's, it lets me be more interactive with people. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like interacting with folks, true. playing games and stuff, so it's been a fun, it's been a fun ride. So the evil has left the mask after all. <sighs> Well now, I finally have it back. Since I am in the midst of my travels, I must bid you farewell. Yeah, don't worry, Skull Kid. I'd be shaken too if that guy was, uh... <laughs> Looking at you. Yeah. <laughs> Shouldn't you be returning home as well? Whenever there is a meeting, a parting is sure to follow. However, that parting need not last forever. Whether a parting be forever or merely for a short time, that is up to you. With that, please excuse me. But my, you should have managed to make quite a number of people happy. Damn right, all those side quests. <laughs> the masks that you have are filled with happiness. It is truly a good happiness. Is that a Ninja Turtle mask I see? I know he's he, got a lot of. Masks. I know he has a Mario one, but that's a Ninja Turtle mask. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I was trying to see as he went by, but I'm not sure. It'll pop up in a second there for you. Oh uh, yeah, I see it. I don't know for sure. Yeah, that kind of looks like a Ninja Turtle. Looks like Leonardo. <laughs> yeah, kind of looks like Leonardo. Leonardo. Leonardo da Vinci. You know, it's kind of fun. Well, it's almost time for the carnival to begin. So why don't you just leave and go about your business? The rest of us have a carnival to go to. Damn. <laughs> Alright, bye, bitch. <laughs> it's been real tell. Keep it easy. Love their names. Take it easy, Lemon Squeezy. <laughs> like you gotta love their names, Tattletale. It's so great. Thank you, Senpai. <laughs> And that is game. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this was a fun one. It was great playing this again. I haven't played through this game in like, God, probably several years. So it was good to revisit it. <laughs> Wish it was on the N64 controller, but, you know, I can't really figure out how to hook that up with my current materials. But it, it was worth having to go through the struggle i think it made some of the struggle points a bit more amusing mm -hmm. for some of y'all to watch me uh watch me uh you know do bad to watch you whip now <laughs> watch, watch me nay nay <laughs> <sighs> yeah definitely one of my favorite games ever i'm pretty sure that i heard at one point that this originally wasn't intended to be a zelda game but it was kind of morphed into one after a while. So. Something along those lines, and it also had like a really quick like turnover rate, like how quickly they did it. That's mm -hmm. why they just reused a lot of assets. Yeah. Kate, what did you think of it? I know you never played it, so uh, have you sit um, through? Um, it was it was interesting. There was a lot of dark elements and a lot of like side quests. Um, but I do know that there was not as much dungeons, but everything 
would be interesting. Yeah. Yeah, nice stop little... sending me stop trying to get me to go in the corner alex no <laughs> got some jazzy jams here on the side um all right so let's uh let me think a moment here in the way of live streams what's next uh, like i said i want to get in some uh some Mega Man x action with that legacy thing i never really played through x7 and x8 like sincerely so I've, i might give those a go might play through some of the other ones. I want to give those boss rush titles a try just for the hell of it. I hear they're really frustrating, so make it making <laughs> like a, a stream of a few hours of me trying to struggle through them could be fun. So I could think you guys would like that. Idea to possibly find a game that uh, like all of us could play at the same time as well. Just true, one true. to throw in when you have no other ideas or have nothing else to work on at the time. So true. true. Uh, October's but coming. Mega up. Man's a good one. Yeah, October's coming up. There's some good shit coming that way. I got uh, some good, some juicy, juicy dark picks coming your way for October. That'll be a good time. Uh, Mega Man 11 comes out on, like, October 2nd. And you better believe I'm going to stream that blind. So, uh, mm. that'll be fun. Uh, let's see. Ever played Epic Mickey? I have not. I've heard mixed reactions about that game, to be honest. I don't know if anyone else in here has, uh, has given that I a go themselves. I have or looked into it, so I can't say anything about it. <clears throat> now play the game in reverse. How the fuck do you do that? <laughs> <laughs> you take every stream and you turn it backwards and re-upload it. Oh my That's god. <laughs> Uh, so, obviously I have a suggestion on a game you could also try as well that I did a live stream of a while back that you might like just because you like scary things, but at the same time, I don't know. So, Because um, I don't know if you watched that I did the uh, the game. The, uh, it's called SCP Containment Breach. I know I've been talking a lot about it recently, but mm -hmm. it's also a good one that you could check out. So I've It's seen, spoopy. I've it's, seen uh, some gameplay on it. You know, I've been watching a couple of just... just um this past week before i go to bed i've been watching a couple of uh just little scp little fun videos here and there just for the hell of it and it's kind of got me uh back into the craze it's always kind of a mm -hmm. interesting the kind of shit that people can come up with like that so oh yeah absolutely i might, I I might can, consider that i've been reading through a bunch of them recently because i'm looking for stuff for for a project i'm thinking just of, obviously and cool. yeah i've just been reading a lot of them and there's some really really weird concepts that make you go how the fuck did someone even think about that shit so yeah people who uh watch my doki doki live stream know much how, how much of a scaredy bitch i can be sometimes <laughs> so. oh shit and we not, and here we have the wedding oh yeah wedding time anju and cafe finally got married <laughs> and at least from the perspective here, it's, I don't know if he ever, like, appeared to age back to his, uh, normal age or not, but, uh, I think it's, actually, you know what, I think, I think he did, because I think it's just like a first person perspective, so I'm pretty sure that, yeah. First person perspective of him taking Anju's hand in marriage and saying, yes, he's back to normal. Yeah, the curse lifted and all that, mm -hmm. so. But, unfortunately, not everybody got their happy ending, as we can see here. Is it because you weren't able to do those side quests? No, that's, um, it'll pop up on the screen for you in just a moment, but it's, uh, Sarah. It's not really something you can do anything about. Oh, uh, yeah. Deku yeah, the Butler. Poor boy. Yeah. It's where your first mask came from. Mm hmm. Let's see. Kind of strange. Like, that's the tree that kind of connects the two worlds almost. So I kind of almost. I don't know if it, like, things would even have been changed anyways in there. I don't know. And then uh, now Link is wandering around the woods again searching for. Uh, Searching for Navi. And he will not be forgotten, nor will his friends forget him for what he did for all of Termina. So, that's the end, guys. There we go. <laughs> this is the 
the frozen screen. I think it's nope. Uh, Say. Damn it. Yeah, I think I that ending screen where like there's the <clears throat> where it's a uh, Link and the Skull Kid together on the tree. Yeah. I think that's pretty. And then the giants and the two fairies in the middle. That's the end. That's the yeah. end of the game. That's all done. I can't remember we if you could go back to the screen it. or not. So, yeah, that's game, guys. Uh, at that point, you can just I think you just uh, can reset it and it'll start you with the new day. Yep. There you go. There's some folks suggesting other games that you can try out too, apparently. Uh, Alexa Lynn suggested Resident Evil 7. Uh, Biohazard? <laughs> someone said something called Splatterhouse. I don't know if that's a game. Some people saying their favorite SCPs. <laughs> um, someone saying that uh, so it's one of their favorites is the toaster that can only be referred to in the first person. That one's funny. That one's really <laughs> fucking funny. You read the entry, it's like I am a, I am a small toaster. Da 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 da. I'm like, bitch, no, you ain't. <laughs> um, there's one that I saw about the other uh, a couple of nights ago about that was like um it was like a fleshy ball with like a vault door and you go inside and it's just like a it's like a modest small apartment with furniture made out of like organic material uh-huh and then um there's people there were like researchers would go inside to like um you know get a check feel for out. the area check it out but they wouldn't come back out but I then more research much. yeah more people would go in and check it out and suddenly there's more furniture in this apartment area <laughs> I like that one too. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that could be a fun one to try. Someone said, "Don't play Friday the Thirteenth. It's dead as fuck." I think they might be talking about that game where one person's a serial killer and everyone else is trying to run from them. Oh my god! <laughs> There's a game like that. I forget. I think it's called Friday the Thirteenth. But yes, I do know that. It has a good concept. Yeah, what it is is it's a basically kind of four v one, but the major idea is you actually have to run from the person playing as the serial killer. So. I forget which game that is. I think it's Friday the 13th. It though. is Friday the 13th. Is it? Okay, because I thought you could also play as other, like, serial killers or something like that as well. No, you can play as only Freddy. But oh, there, you okay. can play as different types of Freddy's, like Freddy. Not Freddy, whoa. Jason. <laughs> wow. My bad. Jason's <laughs> from different movies. Oh, is that what it was? Okay, gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> and each Jason from each movie had, like, special abilities and all that. Uh, yeah, some. some mm -hmm. can... You have the power to go to so, space. Yes. <laughs> Jason in space. <laughs> um, yeah, that would actually be an interesting one to play, actually. Weirdly. <laughs> uh, Logic is here said, I'm talking about Dead by Daylight, apparently. Okay, that is the one I was talking about, was Dead by Daylight. Asymmetric survival horror developed by someone, so. Actually. Dead by Daylight would actually be fun to play. I don't own it, but. I don't know if I know that one. <sighs> Talk it, it's the one where you play as, as a serial killer and everyone else plays as, like, people, so. Hey, guys, go ahead and talk away and take some questions from the chat. I'm going to make a quick little change over here. Okay. We, we must answer. We have to. It's not allowed to not answer. I'm going to feel bad, though, if someone says something to me and I'm like, oh, I can't answer that because I would be embarrassed. <laughs> so we have the right to we, we retain the right to not answer the question. Not here, so he can't answer that question. Yes, ask either me or right. yeah. favorite pony. Oh, or never mind. <laughs> Fa favorite pony is Octavia. If you're talking main six, it's rarity faux show. Um, next question: Why can't chaotic play on turn? I can if I want to. I just I'm streaming right now, obviously. <laughs> um, 
Logic is here said, did you guys see the birthday gift I made for Magpie Pony? I probably did if it was on Twitter. I probably liked it. I don't know it. if I did. I saw it. It was cute. <laughs> it was cute. Zodia195 asks, okay, for all three of you, how did you come up with your OC designs? Oh my fucking god. I had to do it because the project I'm in needed, needed wanted me to have like some sort of like OC to represent myself. I knew it had to come by... I knew I had to make a pony OC eventually, so I went to Pony Creator, you know, that one. Uh, <laughs> shit color first, it was like a maroon red with like a really bright pink mane. <laughs> it was not what it is now. I have, I have a picture somewhere, but not right now. Um, and then I just played with it, because I there were a lot of people's OCs that were like the cobalt blue, like just like that, you know, that basic blue color. Notice how a lot of yeah. characters have like that. I didn't want that because I want to be like I want to stand a little bit. So I just like played around with it and it, I like this shade of blue. It was like a like a like a, like a pale turquoise or pale teal. I don't, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I made it my, my my main brown. And uh, the cutie mark is supposed to be like a metaphorical one. I I I, I don't have the heart to. T Tell artists that if they drew it wrong, because I like to see people's interpretation of my cutie mark and see what people <laughs> think of what it is, because <laughs> it's just like everyone's wrong. It's supposed to be like, like a fire heart. Like it's because I'm like, you know, like a tomboy and very, you know, very fierce. Well, I thought, and, I thought that, you know. I thought that the secondary part of it was that was kind of a game controller too. Well, yeah, because I like video games. That's that's true. Someone yeah. thought it was like a Majora mask thing. <laughs> well, you yeah. know, now you Not can say wrong. that because it's you cause, the It's because you demonic. Cause, uh, so basically, the fire part was supposed to be like, because I'm feisty, the heart part is because I'm like very nice and sweet and whatever, yeah, blah, blah. And the controller is because I like video games there. That makes sense. Yeah, it's blue because I like blue, fucker. Uh, well, for me, it wasn't... I didn't really care so much about a uh, coat color at first. What I had in mind was, oh man, I don't think I've ever seen anyone with this cutie mark idea of like an audio mixer equalizer situation. So let's get that thing on it first. And I was like, <laughs> what if I could just get like the fucking audio looking thingy onto it and then figure the rest out from there. And I was like, I look good on kind of a deep charcoal and what kind of hair do I want? Kind of like an auburn situation, oh. like an wavy and handsome and just kind of just work my way from the butt towards the rest of it so <laughs> big surprise right Bro, something, I remember start with about, the something really quick i remember about mine the main i did not get from pony creator uh the first person uh, of uh, someone who used to be my friend um drew my <laughs> pony sona and drew it based on what my hair looked like at the time he was someone who knew me in real life so and then the recent one, the recent vectors, is because Scribbler gave Oblivion Fall a bunch of like different pictures of me as a as like a friendship gift, just giving mm -hmm. me vectors. So I guess he mm -hmm. just combined whatever he was given and made like this spiky thing. For some reason, he feels bad about it because like he didn't get it right, but I like it, <laughs> so I kept it. <laughs> Perfect. Love it. I'm sorry, and I'm done. You're good. Don't worry about it. Um, well, I guess I can go ahead and say... <clears throat> um, so I had originally started trying to design the character myself, and so it's going to sound... Eh. Originally, I was trying to make him, like, half zebra for some reason, so his hair was uh, far different than what it is now. But the first person that I took... That I I gave the picture to somebody to, to do, and basically kind of what they came out with was kind of the way the character looks now, and I went, you know what, I like this a lot better than my original idea. My original idea was stupid. <laughs> so, stupid. Um, pretty much. Uh, I think it was originally blue, too, but then I changed the color part way through, and then, well, you know, that's just, that's how the design came about, and I was like, okay, well, you know what, I kind of like it, and I'm going to stick with it. And um, and then the cutie mark is a is a yin yang because the idea is is that I very much like philosophy. I very much like talking about it, and I like uh, uh, doing logic and all that kind of fun stuff. So I thought that a yin yang would be a very good choice for that. 
Makes sense. Yeah. Basically it. So <laughs> you're the philosophiest guy I know. I fucking have <laughs> different audiobooks from like fucking like ancient Greek philosophers fucking going all the time and I'm listening to that shit and trying to figure it out. So anyways. Um more questions. Let's see. Yeah, more questions. If you guys had stands named after MLP songs or lyrics, what would they be? Named after That's MLP JoJo song games. lyrics? Oh after god. MLP songs. That's some JoJo shit. Uh I don't remember any right now, so I'm just gonna take a bath. <laughs> What was the question? Oh, fuck, I know. So basically, if you had a stand, what would its name be, I guess? Like, based like on JoJo MLP shit. lyrics? Just repair, yeah, something like that. Jade Zade. Glass of water. Perfect. What? <laughs> <laughs> that would be it. Glass of water. <laughs> no, because it's the Discord song. Yeah, there you go. Oh, I forgot about that one. God. God, Goody. <laughs> well, I've okay. I've I'm probably seen that. I'm just episode, gonna take like, open once. up your eyes. <laughs> that that would be mine. Uh, open up your eyes. Probably the aria. There you go. That'll work. This day is going to be perfect. This... Oh, is there a Breath of the Wild? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Thing? Ooh, the, is this... that is this a hint? Is this a hint of the next stream? Nah. <laughs> oh, I'm just okay. I'm just I'm just killing time right now. While we answer some questions, I yeah. get to. This uh, case is going one. to be. Someone asked. Uh, someone asked me. Ember? Kate, a uh, clopper. Okay. Sorry, what? No, I was just going down the list. I'm all the way back up at the original question I asked, and going down that. That's what right. I was. Just to make sure we didn't miss anything. Uh, Alexa Lynn said, "Ever hear that Goody played tuba? Yeah, he still does, as yes, far as I know." Yes, he still plays the tuba. Yes, I do. Let's see here. Wild tail. If y'all fought, who would win? Uh, it'd be, it'd be, I was gonna, I, honestly, I was probably gonna say it'd be between Kate and Goody. It depends on how, uh, whether or not Goody decides to step on her or not. So, that's my opinion. That's my opinion. I'd get the shit kicked out of me. I'm, I'm fucking, I'm, I'm fat and have skinny noodle arms. Yeah, just so you know, I'm not gonna do too well here, because I am no good at these, uh... <laughs> what, at fighting people? Not the, um, whatever the hell this thing... This this like shrine of trials or whatever the fuck this is. Gotcha. Oh, you, your your thing, gotcha. I could never do well in the shrine of trials or what? The, whatever the hell this Jacku Tree challenge is called. Fuck this guy! I'm just gonna run in and hit him. <laughs> nice yeah, spear, mine now. Play this game. Um, Shady Shroud asks. Apparently, me specifically. I write stories and do other small things. So if I write a good one, how would I show y'all? I mean. uh... I guess you could always try to pass it through like Twitter or and stuff like that. Sometimes just make sure to ask first. I mean, th that would be me specifically. I'm not going to speak for anybody else. But like for me, I'm o I'm always willing to give a quick look at things. Like if you throw it at me through a DM or something. So I do not mind. I'm more than willing to just take a couple minutes to take a look at something. And if I like it, well, well, there you go. So that's me personally. I will not speak for anyone else. I'll speak for myself. I, I don't know what I'm gonna. I don't know what to say. Though. Oh my Kate, god! Kate, what do I say? <laughs> <laughs> what should I say? Um, ball sack. There we go. Got him. All right. Good job. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a working answer, I think. All right, we're gonna cook. Uh... We're gonna cook some apples real quick. Let's go. How do I apple all these holds? <laughs> um. Uh, excuse me, god damn it. Okay, anyways, let's see here. Some more questions. I know there was one from a non unknown for me. Yeah, I see it right there. Uh, what does it say? It says, uh, at Catebug, Clop or Grimdark, which is fun and more interesting. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that feeling you gotta decide, baby. You gotta decide. Like, most fun? Uh, I guess it would depend. I mean, Which obviously. one do you like doing more is probably the better way to put it. Uh, oh, let's see. Most of my cloth was for Wooten, though. <laughs> and? Um, which one did you prefer doing more? <laughs> that's hard. I, that's what you I'll said say, a lot, I'm sure. 
Shut the fuck up. Emails. Um, it had to be done. What I enjoyed doing more. If I had like a bigger role in a grim dart, I guess that one. I don't think I've ever had a bigger role in a grim dart. It was mostly like uh, like background noises, Walla, or like a minor character. Um, I guess Clop. Cause it's stupid, <laughs> nonsensical most of the time. <laughs> but I it, I do like grim dark because you know the spooks. It's very like, clear. basically like being you like in doing pain both. And screaming or killing someone and being, you know, deranged. That says a lot about you. I like being an asshole. <clears throat> she likes hurting Thorn Quill. <laughs> Alright, Goody, just write, write a grim dark with me, just stalking and killing Thorn Quill. I will voice in my that in place. A heartbeat. You can be uh, there too if you want me to stab <clears throat> you. I can do that too. Ham of Thought asks, what does Goody look like? He lo he's tall, sexy, and handsome. Oh, uh, yeah, he's he's like six foot nine. He's, you know, pretty tall. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's, that, those, those, those are kind of the same thing. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, I'm trying to like, what other details am I allowed to give out? <laughs> I already gave the three that were important, tall, sexy, and handsome. He has brown hair. <laughs> That's true. <coughs> Let's see here. Yeah, he's got brown hair and really tall. And wears shorts. Music reborn. Boy, this ain't no Majora. We finished Majora. Go back to the start of the stream and you'll see it. Uh... Where's Majora, though? Where's Majora, though? Let's see here. Uh, my answer to that one's going to be no. And then, uh, Alexa Lynn now asks, Goody, which one do you prefer, Clop or Grimdark? I, I feel like I know which one your answer is. Oh, would be. Grimdark but for days, my Vlads. That's what I assumed. For days! <laughs> for me, it's, if, if, like, if I'm voicing something, it'll probably be Clop. But if it's just to enjoy, probably Grimdark. No, I he don't... gets, uh, go ahead. Finish up. Sorry. No, I don't normally... Uh, listen to. I mean, I do sometimes. If you know, I like. To, I do hear the stuff that I've voiced in, mm -hmm. regardless of what it is, just to see if it sounded good. Uh huh. Because I'm very like, I criticize my voice a lot. <laughs> but yeah. Also, Lord Azul just dropped two dollars. Say, hey man, have a coffee. Hey, I like me some coffee. Thank you, Lord Azul, for that two dollar holla the bee. The logic is here. How Kate describes Goody? Well, he's tall and. And he's tall. Yeah, he, he is tall. He's tall. <laughs> he's, after that, he's still, <laughs> he's still tall. He's still fucking tall. You could, tell, you could tell me how handsome you think I am. <laughs> if you want. Baka. Baka. <laughs> no, that's, I feel like that's a subjective opinion. Wavelength. <laughs> uh, Alexa Lynn asks, Yeah, I clap or Grimdark. Uh, if I had to choose between the two, Grimdark. That's what I've done. I've not done any of the other You're at all. You're goddamn so. right. <laughs> I have not. I have been in some of Wooten's stuff, but not in any big role, nor making any kinds of sounds. So yet, other than just <laughs> yet, right? You say, oh, yeah, you say so. Um, That's called foreshadowing. <laughs> I didn't realize I was in something. Have I not been told? Yet. When it comes to grimdark uh, narrators, you're never told when you were needed. <laughs> you were just there. You were thrown into a room and have to record against Fate. your will. <laughs> Sounds like a good grimdark story concept, actually. It's like when... thrown into a room and when fate, when fate comes. Oh, I'm so good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you're saying. I said fate calls. You arrive. Oh. I thought you said fate comes the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure you that's what you said and you fixed it. <laughs> oh, you little dummy cummy. Okay. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Let's see. Come on, over this way. Come on, lad. Come on, choo-choo lad. Let's go. Choo-choo over this way. Choo-choo rocket. Whoa! Uh, Lady Shroud asks, "What was your favorite? What's your favorite voice acting that you have done?" 
So like, what's your favorite thing? Is that for everyone? In... Yeah, I'm assuming as much. It seems to be there wasn't anybody's name in front of it. That was from Lady Shroud. Um. Well, actually, I can't really say because it's a secret that's coming out this October. Oh. I've made a promise to the. I've made a promise to the creator that I cannot speak on it. But that I did shall heard, not be spoken. I had a. I heard a sample of it today though and i was like holy <laughs> fuck yeah. again come october ah, come but uh come october wow, <laughs> it will well you're gonna take it back a few notches there goody that's a little bit out of here yeah it's a little, it's a little <laughs> below the belt there buddy <laughs> I get... <laughs> yeah, you'll find out in October. It's nothing on my channel, by the way. So... When the time comes, you'll know. So, our favorite voice acting thing? Yeah. Uh... <sighs> Shut the fuck up, you rude-ass bitch! <laughs> um... Squeeze me, I had a beer. My favorite voice acting thing? Oh, that's so difficult. Yes, you are. Thank you. <laughs> um. Ba, 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 ba. So while you're thinking, I guess I can go ahead and say that honestly, my favorite was the first story I ever read. It's still my favorite because I would, I did horribly, but I learned from it, and that's how it goes. And I also really like the story and and the author, so. It the is thing, my favorite. The first thing for me to, that comes to mind was voicing uh, Tiny Firebrand for Josh Scorcher for one of his reviews because, like, most of the entirety of, like, half of that video was just me analyzing Rarity Investigates while emulating Josh Scorcher's, like, the way he talks, and it was very <laughs> funny for me. <laughs> it was just like, I'm just, I had a lot, this is what it feels like to analyze an episode of Evil <laughs> Beast. Oh, I had fun. That was great. Because I, 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 I like Josh Scorcher's countdown stuff. I like his stuff. Um, another one that came to mind is, um, I like d playing Daring Do and Daring Douche because I like cussing and, <laughs> and wanting to fuck all the people. <laughs> I like, I like playing want to fuck characters. all the people, you know? I like playing characters where I can cuss as much as I want, be an asshole, be a bitch. It's so much fun. It's just a stress reliever. Just, ah, oh, just fuck you, kill yourself, I hate you, God, your mom sucks, just everything. <laughs> I, I, Good God. Just, you got some demons. Yeah. I, you know what? If I have to make a pony cry to get my shit out, I will. <laughs> <laughs> Something about that phrase didn't quite seem right. You do what you um, got. Hey, man, you can do what you got to do, I guess. Speaking <laughs> of, did you hear Lost Narrator showing Ashley H the um, "Please Come Back" written by Tony Pilot? Did you see that on Twitter, Goody? I did. What the, I also I know I also know about it because I edited that thing. So yeah, I was gonna say, hey guys, Goody edited that. I remember the the moment I decided to record that for Scribbler, and I showed to Goody and Roy, and you're like, oh god, we must we must show this to the world. And Goody <laughs> edited added music. Yep, <laughs> it had to be done. So good. Had to be done. Bada boom. About a bitch. Let's see here. Next up, Goody, who would you sacrifice, Cater Chaotic? Uh, what am I sacrificing for? Uh, I'm, I'm, not <laughs> I'm, I'm not entirely certain. They didn't specify. I think it's just in general. Let's go with that. Like, if you had to choose one of us basically to kill, like, it, it, you had no choice. Like, either we would both die or one of us would die. Which one of us would you choose? Um. No, this, is a, this, is, this is a friendship make or break moment, Goody. You better choose right. Hey, I had to kill a guy. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> Hold up. Hold up. Uh, who would I sacrifice? This is a very difficult question for Goody to serenade. <laughs> Alright, well, how it's about like you fucking, fuckers? It's like Saw. It's like, um, Saw. Like... One of, them must, has to, one of them has to die. <laughs> the other one. Shotgun, circus. shotgun carousel. 
shotgun carousel here, except with two people. Good. <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker! You better fucking choose right. I swear to God. Oh, so are you asking me and Keanu, who do we sacrifice between, like, within this the stream? No, they were just asking Goody who did who he'd sacrifice. But I what do you think on that? Goody asking us. Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say I'd want to die. So <laughs> Alright, so and, and, what can you guys question. offer me? Are you asking the chat? No, I'm asking you two. What can you guys offer me? Uh, I don't know, what do you want? If you if you wanna have <laughs> if you wanna have me to answer this really fucked up question, <laughs> you gotta play the game. You fuckers gotta play the game. <laughs> Just this question it got many layers to it, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> this is many layers. Jeez. <laughs> oh, uh, I don't know. What do you want? That would be my question. That for is you. a good question. What do I want? <laughs> what if I give you my support? Um. <laughs> you have my, my bow. company. Ooh, I have his and bow. Ooh, and his axe. Kate, you're falling behind. Can I give you a gun? Why would I have a? What would I need a gun for? <laughs> shoot your enemies. I'll give, I'll give you a nice uh, kitchen knife. A kitchen knife isn't a gun, Kate. I said I'll give you a gun and a kitchen knife, you fucker. <laughs> oh, she's contradicting herself, Goody. Look at that. Mm. I don't know if you can trust that. I don't know if you can trust that. Miss Von Miss Bonds, I don't oh, know if I like your tone. <laughs> <laughs> um we, we can move on if you'd like, but that's entirely up to you. <laughs> no, this is fun. I've turned the tables on you guys and now you're fighting over me. <laughs> <laughs> You're fighting over my approval. Um, Goody, Bob, you, uh, you already approve me, otherwise I wouldn't be voicing your stuff. I've voiced in some of his stuff too. So I mean, we've both been approved in that regard. I don't mm. know if either. Uh, which one of our voices would he prefer? Like actually? Goody, can you just fucking like slit the throat and just pick one of us? <laughs> Please. What's wrong, Kate? No, no, I, I, What's I wrong? Sure. Has the table turned too much for you? <laughs> We're spending so much time on this question. <laughs> it's just like, why? I just dropped a metal box on a guy, so watch that in a couple seconds. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Say, please. Please, Goody, don't sacrifice me. I want to live. I want to actually complete college. So do I. I'm in it too. My family has never been, been this far ahead in the educational system. Please, I have things to do. Neither has mine. The we are legitimately in the same saved. position. We are legitimately in the same position right now. Ooh, so like, you're... that's not gonna work. So you're both peasants, huh? Ooh. Oh, okay. So when I go to a, a fancy college where, you know, where I study environmental studies, oh, that's peasantry. Oh, okay. Hi. I'm doing I'm doing psychology, so I mean. I'm doing environmental studies. Oh, I'm doing psychology. You. you know, understanding how people work. I have an impact on the world. Really cool. So will I, except I'll have it through the human element instead. And if I can convince people Shut that up, the environment, rules. but if I can convince people that the environment is important and uh, shift the societal zeitgeist in that direction, well then I just saved the environment, didn't I? Bitch, I have deers. <laughs> as you guys I'm not can see, deers. as you guys can see, I have, I have um, improved my chat viewership for the better with your torment. This has been quite amusing. What is going <laughs> on in this chat? Yeah, I wish I knew. It's people anyway, are saying. Anyway, answer the fucking question. Who would you sacrifice? Me or Chaotic? <laughs> you know what I think we sacrificed here? Oh my fucking god. <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody has won this conversation, to be honest. 
So here I am listening to, to Goody backpedal his fucking ass out of here and not answer the fucking question. He's playing the politics game. Because get the get your fucking. I let you guys. I let you guys. The the tr the trick was I let you guys kill each other. But we can't do that. <laughs> you kind of just did. Will you shut the fuck up and pick one of us? <laughs> no, I won't. This is funny. I'm leaving. If I sacrifice my, if I sacrifice one of you, then uh, I'm leaving. Goodbye. Then there would be no oh, more amusement well, for this live stream. Well, she's gone, so I guess you know. I guess, I guess chaotic wins. Chaotic wins. Woo! Okay, I win back. because you left. <laughs> it's true. That's what I happened. Win. Woo! Oh, Kate is a STEM major. Yep. Oh, I guess psychology technically isn't a STEM major, so I can't say anything about that one. Not a journalism major. <laughs> At least it's not journalism. <laughs> Yikes. Or gender <laughs> studies. Or gender studies, that's also true. Uh, let's see. As long as we're not at home, it's just... Someone's just said, just sacrifice. Alex said, just sacrifice Kate. But <laughs> just doesn't like you. No one likes Well, me. I mean, she did leave the chat, so. I guess that's true. That's a forfeit. Question right. for Kate Bug Have you ever been put in the corner? No, I don't want to go there. Okay, yeah, but have you ever cream. been? Have you ever been? Like, if you were a child, were you ever sent to the corner as punishment? Uh, maybe? I don't know. It's been a long time. Fair enough. Okay. That'll work. Let's see. Were there any other questions? Come on, folks. Get some more questions going. Yeah, well, I start to fuck up in this game because I totally just let those bulk up ones know where I am. So to answer your question, yeah, I would sacrifice Goody. See, my answer was short, concise, professional. <laughs> professional. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Pro Something professional you, you don't know anything about, huh? Damn. It's just some... Some war going on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, so let's see here. Hamel Hamel thought, more questions. What silent ponyville are we on? Is Starry Flame a feared goddess of pain? Is Pony Groove still a thing? I have no idea. I have I have no idea what the answers to any of those are actually. So I was trying to focus there for a bit. Yeah, um, good. No worries. Zodia one ninety five asks, for all three of y'all, how was it switching bodies in Wooten and Scribbler's April Fools video this year? He took my shadow well, powers. I was in Pegasus Pitch, uh, body. So I had a dick. That was interesting. Government <laughs> came and took my baby. Yeah, didn't Chaotic like take your shadow powers? Yeah, oh, yeah it was great. You know, and enjoyed wearing with that? Until he beat the shit me for doing it, but you know, whatever. And oh, I had I, to I... wear a pink apron and serve everybody's sweets for the rest of the day. I wish I was in Lost's body. But, well, then again, it really wouldn't be any different because we both cuss like a sailor. That's true. I was in Scribbler's body. That was nice. I, I, to feel horse famous for 15 seconds was very nice. <laughs> 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 to feel proper and British and an absolute fuck nugget was absolutely wonderful. I <laughs> cherished it. Any goodies for me? I don't care. Okay. If Let's I were to see. switch bodies with Goody, that'd be nice because I can actually, like, you know, see above everyone. Very, very, <laughs> well, very uplifting. Oops. It's, it's a good feeling. <laughs> Definitely has to be an interesting feeling to always be ahead above like everybody. If I swap bodies with the chaotic, at least I have magic. Yeah, it's true. Can you You're imagine just, uh... Kate snooping around with my shadow powers? There would be no end. <laughs> it would abuse the fuck out of it. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Oh yeah, you're a filthy earth pony, aren't you? I'm a what? What? I didn't hear you. Would you kindly repeat for the rest of the class? <laughs> Mumbler. You were an earth pony, correct? Yes, I am a dirt pony. You have okay. a problem with that, buddy? Of course not. Stink I ass literally dirt pick pony. your horn until it's broke, and then you're nothing. I mean, if you can reach me. 
Yes, I can. Don't worry. Sure about that? Okay. Mm -hmm. I guess this is a. I guess this is a. I guess this is a standoff, then, isn't it? Yep. Okay. <laughs> we are not playing a Pathfinder game. You have no power over me here. <laughs> you have no power over here. You have no power here, Chaotic the Gray. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my God. Okay, we're gonna be here a while. <laughs> as only as long as you wish. It's a panda. I didn't leave for two hours. Woo. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll take your word for it then. That's a weird looking stone creature. It's just oh, like stone a... talus. They are annoying it's... because sometimes their weak points are in very, very random places. <laughs> it yeah, looks there's... like a legitimate rock with legs. Like, that's it. Yeah, that's kind of what like, it it's is. It's just a fucking Nobody rock with legs. Nobody knows how random their weak points are. Yeah, this, <laughs> these things are real assholes. <laughs> and they'll just flop. Like, they have the most predictable movements, but they still fuck me up. <laughs> yeah, I don't know any good way to take them down. I'm Wait, stupid. there's some stuff. Oh. Hey, maybe I can hit him with a thing. Let me try this magnet situation. You can situation. just get a stick and throw it at his weak points and then keep doing it. Mysterio Russo asks, am work. I late? Yes, just a little bit. Yeah, I was never uh, good at fighting these guys, so uh, let's just go for broke here. J -Z. J yeah. Dicks. Uh, I mean, I'd choose fuck because it's the most versatile. Ladies and gentlemen, Kate Bug likes to say all swear words. She all likes swear cunt. words are equal in her she eyes. Likes fuck. She likes slut. She likes a fuck. You heard it here, guys. Kate likes, likes a fuck. fuck. <laughs> Kate likes a good <laughs> fuck. I like saying shit, fuck, cunt. I like you, and I like sex. And we I like have, me and Lots, we like to say cunt a lot, so we call each other cunts. Like, hey, you cunt. What's up, cunt? <laughs> hey, watch your... This is a Christian live stream, young lady. Shut the... You, it's too late to fucking go ahead and say that shit, alright? It's too late in this stream. Shut up. <laughs> God, Laura Zool's asking for everyone why he's back to milk best milk. No, it's not. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of my country. I know you must have been on that one stream I was in, the fucking bar cast one. Get that shit out of here. Fucking bagged milk. <laughs> bagged milk. Jesus. It's like you're having an episode over this shit, Kate. Bagged milk is... I don't understand. It's weird. Motherfucker. I am having an episode over this. Thank you. Here we go. Okay. I am back. Sorry. Uh, goodness gravy. Oh, it was supposed me. to be a good way to beat this guy, but I clearly don't know what I'm doing for him down here. So, uh, we're going to drop a thing on him. Looks oh like yeah, there's a lot of different. There's a lot of creative ways to beat this guy. Mm. Clearly, I don't. Uh, I don't. Clearly, I don't seem to be able to capitalize on it. So, I'm not. I'm not the uh, the MLG players of yore. My answer, Panda, is it goes just. It, it's perfect. It's perfectly fine. Thank you. Anyways, moving on. How are you doing against this thing? <laughs> Kate Bug is just upset she didn't get any milk money this time. <laughs> the, one of the memes of this entire playthrough is me not having milk that one time. <laughs> I didn't have the milk. Well, you know. Shit. Shit. I'm under him. I'm under him. I don't want to be under him. Okay. That's a bad place to be. Don't be a bottom. Booty. Get You're top. <laughs> 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 Are you guys hearing that in the back or no? Yes, we're bit. hearing an announcer voice. My bad. Yo, fuck this rock boy in the anus. Come on. Wow, I didn't know arrows did so much to a, a rock. Pierce, pierce his anus with your arrows. That did it. <laughs> I didn't know arrows did so much fucking damage to him. Okay. Just... <laughs> 
Kate's gonna bust some kneecaps for that milk money. <laughs> Goody doesn't bottom confirmed. <laughs> I mean, I would assume not, but that's just me. So they can try. <laughs> Anyone? I like sometimes pull a reverse bottom to make them think they're in control. I was gonna say like if yeah, there you are power them, bottoms. I fear for them. Yeah. <laughs> there, there, there are power bottoms. Oh, okay. those poor souls that think they could win as a top. <laughs> so, Kate, are you a bottom or a top? Is that a question from the chat, or is that your? No, question? that was me. That was just me. I'm a switch, but oh, okay. I prefer bottom. Okay, fair enough. There you go. Sources have told me I am a. Uh... Mischievous Dom. Top. Sorry. <laughs> Did you take that online test? Is that what told you? No, my boyfriend. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> What? I did take that test, and it did tell me stuff, uh -huh. but I do have ways to test things. <laughs> Fair enough. You do. That's a good point. <laughs> you do. <laughs> you do have one of those things that allows you to test that sort of thing. Jesus. Not Jesus, because he's usually what comes between that. Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> good Lord Jesus. <laughs> there are pills for that. <laughs> what, Jesus pills? Oh, finally. <laughs> oh, fuck. Looking at this necklace I got from BronyCon. Um, one of my friends, the crystal ring, bought it for me. It's like a team skull like necklace. Oh, nice. I don't know if I showed yeah. you this at BronyCon. It was like gold and it's shiny. It's for my boy. The boy. The boy. <gasps> the boy. It's your boy. <gasps> the boy. My boy. I like Guzma. When is he gonna appear in the Sun and Moon anime? I'm like rioting right now. Fucking Lusamine he appears, but not fucking. Where's the boy? You're gonna bust, aren't you? Dude, the Sun and Moon anime I heard is really good. No, I've I've heard that too. I if I if once Guzma appears, I'm gonna nut. Cause that animation Wait. plus Guzma. Oh, oh dear. It's the boy. Oh dear, oh dear. It's the boy. The Mysterious boy. says, Goody, have you gotten a Steven Universe plushie from Lost in Mags fan mail thing yet? Uh, no. Okay, well, I guess we're looking out for that. <laughs> All right, I'll uh, keep an eye out. <laughs> um... Climb this apple tree. Get some fucking apples! Fuck the apples. No. Earth apple bloom. No, what? <laughs> 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 The logic is here. Random thing. For as good as Breath of the Wild is, there's something that bothers me. It's item conditions. Just let me keep my sword. Well, I guess it depends, because Breath of the Wild's kind of... Strangely enough, it's kind of a survival game. A little bit, actually. So... I mean, it's kind of par for the course in those style of games. So... Can't say that I know. Whoa! I got like a million notifications all at once. What the fuck? Hey, so uh, we had a bat in one of our radio studios today. What happened to who? We had a bat in one of our radio station studios today. Oh, yeah, I saw you say something about that on Twitter. Yeah. What the fuck? Fuzzy tweeters. All right, cook that shit. Yeah, 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 cook that shit. <laughs> All right, I got some uh, defense boosting stuff. Oop, more arrows, more arrows. Arrows. What time is it? Is almost twelve. Yeah. All right. Actually, I'm gonna call it here for the stream, y'all. So, uh, I think we've had a good enough time tonight. <laughs> I Wait, to... Mysteria Russo asked, Goody, Kbug, and Kira, can I make a custom photo for you, please? I mean, I don't mind. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Sure. I hear you guys like to make pictures and stuff like that. Like, most of the time, most of us don't mind, so I actually like it. Yeah. So, 
<laughs> so we'll take a I few more we'll take a few more questions from the chat before we uh close it all out tonight uh it's so panda you asked a question actually we kind of answered a little bit earlier which was what uh what thing did you help voice and you thought was the most fun to do so we kind of kind of answered that a little earlier so uh, uh. um so yeah i guess that's about it all right any final words for the lovelies out there y'all Okay. Fuck you guys. That's exactly what I expected, to be honest. I don't even know why I bothered Sounds inquiring. Fun. Guys, thank you for joining our live stream. I'm I'm very I this I don't normally join gaming live streams, so it was very nice uh, yeah, so. to be a part of it. Thank you, Goody, for inviting me. Thank you, go. Goody, for You're inviting me. Very welcome, guys. Me. I'll try and have you on future ones when I get more in the nitty gritty of games to come alexa close down i'm not trying to communicate to you <laughs> <laughs> she just wants to be involved in your live stream okay alexa say goodbye to the people sorry i'm not sure about that jesus christ okay <laughs> not sure about that. oh she's shy really she's shy alexa insult Aww. generator seems like are always lost in thought it's unfamiliar territory. Please consider writing a review for Insult Generator on the Alexa Skill Store. I have sent a card to your. I hate my life. <laughs> wow, she's shy. Play despacito. All right, guys. Well, thank you for joining the live stream tonight. Um, uh, maybe in a couple weeks I'll get that. Uh, make my next thing rolling. Uh, have some pain and so torture and suffering as I try and play through some shit. And uh, we'll go from there. And uh, make sure if you haven't checked it out yet, Silent Ponyville 4 Chapter 2 went live today. So make sure to go check that out if you haven't yet already. And if you need to restart from the beginning, because it's been so goddamn long since it's uploaded, well, sounds like you got yourself something scary to listen to tonight. So I think that's going to about do it tonight, guys. Uh, thanks for coming out. Chilling the most. Um, played through one of our one of my favorite games growing up. I'm glad I got to share that with you, and I'm glad I got to have the reasons why I drink Kate and Chaotic here to join me for it. And um, yeah, so we're gonna close things out here. Y'all have a lovely weekend, and um, I will catch y'all on the flip side. Ciao. Bye bye. bye.